Good day everyone. So how does an international sports federation come into being? I will provide you with a simple example of one of the ways starting from your own very little small sports clubs all the way to the international sports federation. So imagine a popular local sport call it sport x that is being played locally in various small clubs in your area. It's all very unstructured and informal and actually quite messy. So you get together with your sports friends and um, you decide to organize this properly. So you pool in some funds and form a small district association. And you ask all these local clubs to become members of that particular district association. you appoint an administrator and a secretary and you know at that level they'll probably be volunteers doing this in their own time for the love of the game and who will then start putting some structures in place such as maintaining a database of uh, players and uh, teams and umpires and referees and maybe even volunteers they'll start scheduling matches and they'll start putting some basic rules and regulations in place um this district association uh will also act uh as a forum for discussion for the organizers uh, who will probably get together even at the local pub and uh, provide direction to the administrator the various local clubs can also decide who should be on the uh, uh the, the district association committee um and effectively this district association will then start running that sport in that particular local district now word gets around and because of the structures that you've now put in place the sport starts making progress and more and more people start becoming interested in playing and they start joining the clubs now again word starts getting around on how much progress is being made in your district association let's say call it district association 1 and then you get all these other district associations uh that start springing up all over uh that region um uh, and all of them start uh, doing uh, really well and the sport starts getting uh, a bit of a structure in that particular region of which all these district associations form up So now in order to streamline and further centralize and improve and develop the sport all these district associations get together and decide to form a regional association of which all these district association then become members So now you have in place a much better structure for the organization of that sport in that particular region you start having proper league matches and knockout events and because some resources are being pooled and grounds are being shared the sport starts making even more progress and at a regional level you then start forming clubs at uh, uh teams at club level at association levels and at re- regional level uh, you also have elections on who sits on the board of the districts and of the regional associations as well Similarly other regions in the country do the same and you then have say four regional association for that sport in that country and the game really starts to get a structure almost touching the national level the regional associations then decide that they need to have a national association to organize and regulate that sport in the country as a whole accordingly the national association is born and again all the regional associations become member of that national association and that is the association that is then responsible for running all aspects of that sport in that particular country this national association then starts interacting with other national association in other countries so for example uh we could have been talking about the national association in the uk which then starts interacting with the national association of that sport in france um in uh, brazil in um uh, cameroon and 
in other countries these national associations then get together and decide that they will form an international sports federation or international association that will act as the global governing body for that sport in the world as a whole and this for example could be something like a fifa or something like the ioc or something like a world rugby i've obviously oversimplified matters but this is one model that shows the various stages of how a sport can progress from being played in the parks and in the backyards to having an international uh, federation and an international governing structure in place thank you for watching bye bye